Hey there, everybody, Fat here, and welcome back to Fat Plays Rim World Anomaly. We got a pit. Yes, we do. It's rumbling, too. We're going to let it do that. We're probably going to lose these, but, you know, they're, uh, they're replaceable. But more importantly, we're going to watch what happens when they come out of this and get and they step on one of the things. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here they go. Oh, here they go. Then they explode. Oh, they can just jump over the door. Oh, okay. They're just allowed to do that. God, I hate video games sometimes. I mean, do I really even need to explain how that's dumb? Isn't there a roof on this thing? There's a roof on the whole thing. And yet some of them can just jump over the door. What? Why? For what purpose? I just don't even... Where are you going? Yeah, there you go, there you go, yeah, come over this way, you dips. Okay, other than the ones that could magically phase through the planet, it looks like the trap worked as designed. Oh, wow, that one went down instantly. Alright, eventually the door is going to be on fire too, but the fire is going to take them all out, it looks like. I don't understand. They also, like, ignored this, which surprised me. Definitely did not disappoint me, but it surprised me. Okay, they broke one wall segment. Oop. That one exploded. It's uh, 600 degrees in there, so even if they're not getting hurt immediately, they're going down to the burns and from the superheated air and the heat stroke. So they're going down. It actually worked. So, uh, you know, funnily enough, temperature's like a cool brisk 15 in here. So, okay, video games. You love them, you hate them. Sometimes you do both at the same time. Anyway, we're going to let this burn out. Eventually, yep, there goes the door. Temperature immediately evens out because that's how that's how it works in real life. You know, you crack a window and suddenly it's the same temperature that it is outside. We all know that. That's why nobody has air conditioners. All right. Almost done. Okay. Cool. Uh, I guess we gotta wait for it to rain. We're gonna lose out on some wood here. How much wood do we have? Yeah, we got 3k. We're fine. Alright. Oh yeah, that's right. We were building bedrooms. I forgot about that. We're trying to, but we keep getting stinky beds. Hey, make me an, an excellent bed. Or two. Preferably two. I do want to get some more, chop some more wood down, though. I have no legitimate reason to do this. So I'm doing it for illegitimate reasons. Because I want to. It's gross in here now. <laughs> uh, but it is what it is, and that's all that it is. Okay, I can't, I'm not, I'm not going to put the wooden floor back down until this fire goes away. But once it does, oh boy. Hello, green camel. How's it going? There we go. There's the there's the good old water. Okay. And we just do it again. Why can't we do this spot? What's wrong here? Oh, that's still regular wood floor. That's why it didn't actually burn away. Huh. But not the outside, though. No, no, no. We're not, we're not burning that. Still, the, the magically, oh, I can just teleport outside thing. Uh, you know what that tells you? It, it tells you we need to bust this down. Let's get our ghouls to do this. It tells you we need to bust this down and exp extend this a little bit. That's all it, That's all we need to do. It's not like super difficult or anything. We just need to expand it a bit. Just need to expand our horizons, yeah? There you go. Might as well keep doing it. Um, bust this thing down, too. Mm -hmm. I'll give you the exo stride. That's right. Get out of here, you fake cannon. Nothing but a piece of rubble. Junk pile. Cool. Thanks for the free slag chunks and apparently marble for some reason. 
It's the uh, grab all. Uh, you can grab nine. It's fine. Okay. Mm, can't get it over here, but let's get what we can built over here. And then, like I said, we'll uh, chop down this tree too, and then we'll expand over this way some. And let's go this this far. We'll do that. We'll slap a door in here, and then we'll tear this down and make it go this way. We'll uh, double wall it, of course, as you do, as you do. There. Yeah, we, we got the plan. Hey, Vassif, how's it going? Didn't you, like, immediately get into a fight with someone? Also, you need an age reversal. It needs a strong word, but you should have one. Zeknab, you are never in a good mood, I swear. Uh, okay, a lot of things are happening. Okay, we summoned that trader, though. Pigs and then trading pigs are here. Don't get them twisted, okay? They're two different brands of pig. Good and normal. I want to keep doing this. You can't stop me. All right, we got wood. Yes, we do. We got wood. How about you? And that means we can't be stopped. All right, let's see where the exotic goods trader decides to set up shop. Chillings, you're still up. That's good. Now you're not. That's is not as good, but you should you should sleep pretty quickly. You got to sleep accelerator. Yeah, I mean, this is actually a good spot for them to set up shop because we have all of our stuff right here once we buy it. So I can't be mad. Plus, we get the trade with Oinker, which is fantastic. Oinker the Pigman. You gotta love it. You gotta. You're not allowed to not love it. Um, yeah, all of our best traders are asleep. So... It's 1 a.m. Why'd you have to come at 1 a.m.? Uh, are you gonna la Are you gonna stay here for like four hours or something? Because I think I can get you to trade. I don't feel good about. Yeah, I don't feel good about the timing. Just go. Get up now and trade. I I I. Okay, that's the visitors. Ooh, I was gonna say I I knew it. No, those are just the visitors. Again, the battle music has not stopped for like years. Um, what is it? An exotic goods trader? I'll take your components. Five glitter world medicine. Hot dang. What have I done to deserve that honor? Uh gene packs. This is this is what I just like about the biotech. It's they just flood their freaking backpack with this crap that I'm never gonna buy. Uh, art skill trainer a book on waste pack atomizing well it looks like these actually can still teach it so i kind of want to do it for funsies partially um bionic arm nuclear stomach and yeah, that could actually get you get you the cancer though and that's not good uh it does reduce the hunger rate huh so i mean you could put that in a ghoul I mean, because if a ghoul gets cancer, who cares? The ghoul is going to heal it up, right? I'm going to try that. I got to try it. Sterilizing stomach. That one's uh, zero chance of food poisoning. It's a little bit better than a regular stomach. Huh. That one's pretty good, too. Let's see about buying it. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to buy all this, because it costs a lot of money, <laughs> but uh, I'm curious. Hmm. I feel like I could sell one of those reinforced barrels. It's an easy 450, you know? What else? What else? We could sell the dead life shells, because I haven't used them. Yeah, I, I mean, they're not useful because I use all of my stuff feeding the tree. I guess it could be useful. You use the regular shells first, and then you pop the dead light shells on anyone who died i guess from that angle it could be useful we have a lot of animals we could have less you know less mouths to feed in the in the short term plus the obvious it's more money for us you know get rid of some of these cows you don't need that many 
We don't need that many buffalo. There you go. Okay, that's good. Okay, we get a nice, nice glitter world medicine. Yeah, don't interrogate before you haul, please. Haul this, haul this, haul this. Oh, the nuclear stomach will also deter. Oh, the book, 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 the book. Thank you. <laughs> you couldn't tell. I wanted to make sure to save the book. Everything else is also going to deteriorate, but it's far more, far slower than the book would. So yeah, the rest of this you can just do at your own pace. Okay. Sai, guess what? I'm going to give you a nuclear stomach. I don't know how that's going to work, but I feel like it might work. We'll see, we'll see. Okay. Thank you for trading with me. Now get out. And we have that sterilizing stomach as well. Oh, look, it's these guys again. Bale and Fedon have people related to them. Um, they're very spread out. And there's not very many of them. That's weird. Uh, I could... Uh, did the surgery get done already? It did not. Okay, get up. Oh, there's more. They just keep appearing. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Let's just go start beating them up then. Who cares? <laughs> They're so spread out. They are in a trance and don't respond when attacked. Well, that'll be handy. I, I literally just have to have my ghouls walk around and kill them. Is this real life? Just free kills for uh for my dudes. I mean, they're probably like doing no psychic like, rituals, thrombo, hate chant whispers, minus five. All right, I, mean, I, can, I can do this. This is weird. <laughs> yeah, I can hear the hate chants too. But I mean. It's literally just free kills. I'm assuming if I kill enough of them, they're going to decide to attack. Well, I called that, huh? Okay. All right. Everyone come over here. Get the bots ready. Okay. You keep doing what you're doing. I, I, yeah, I know some of them are going to use their... Freaking resurrection ability. I mean, all we need to do for the is just have the ghouls keep slapping for the most part. Ooh, that one has a uh, tentacle arm. Okay. The peeps are coming inside. Gotcha. All right. Bail, run. <laughs> run better. Run faster. Run to the side. So you don't get shot. Uh, actually, yeah, fire at will. Um, be over here and do it. Okay. I ex anticipate them to get attacked, though. Uh, Militors, get up front. Where's my Scyther? Where's the Scyther? There is a Scyther. Scyther, uh, get way up front. Start attacking. Get him. All right. Yeah, 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 they're gonna self-resurrect and stuff. I know, I know. But I mean, for the most part, they're gonna get their asses kicked. Uh, Mazeknov, you might want to go inside. Just throwing that out there. I'm gonna undraft you. And that way they can go off and fight. Because they're gonna. They're gonna come over here, they're gonna fight. Okay, this is where I need to concentrate most of my... Most of my stuff, though. Okay, everyone except the ghouls. Restricted to home area. Okay. Is this still considered home area? It isn't now. Don't go over there. Literally, just don't go over there, you dip. Okay. Yeah, let him keep going that way. That's fine. Sai, you need to come over here and fight. So far, so good. And that distraction worked. Okay, yeah, they're going to be coming from other angles. But the pigs are still over here, so that's helpful. Thought I saw one inside for a minute. Okay, Sai's doing his best. All of you are doing your best. 
Don't even need to control him. Glitch, where is Glitch? Glitch is over here. Glitch is fighting. Okay. And a bunch of them are hacking. Just to, uh, come back to life. Okay, well, now that's open. Oh, it's because of you. Damn it, you're not helping, Theo. Okay. Copeland be coping on now, I bet. All right, that's all the ones on this side. Doesn't look like any of them are going to self-resurrect, at least yet. They might die and then self-resurrect. Not you, though. You? You actually got up. I think. Uh, okay, none of you are going to self-resurrect, so that's good. All right, get over there. And, okay. Oop, no, draft you. Draft you. Head south. All right. Let's go, lads. Uh, Cassie just self-resurrected. Beat him up more. Scyther, go help. What are you doing? Did you think that was going to help you? Going around just a little bit? It's going to protect you from the Scyther madness? All right. Come on, Dennis. Get him. Get his ass. You're not getting his ass. All right. Apparently his name fits. He's being getting pretty lucky there. This is kind of sad, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I guess... Whatever, just walk right past him. Sure, hey, 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 don't mind me. Whatever. <laughs> All right. Don't worry about these guys over here. Worry about these guys over here. Get lucky. You all can help, you know. Go get lucky. Knock them out. Because lucky's the last one. Lucky and Copeland. And that's it. Okay, Lucky's down. Good. On draft, everyone. Get this wall re repaired. We don't have enough plasteel to do the whole wall. It's the problem with plasteel walls. You need plasteel to do them. Oh, Lucky re self rezzed. Well, Lucky just got unself rezzed, so that's what you get. Traders are leaving. Thanks for your help. It wasn't even planned, but dang it if it didn't work out, huh? Well, for us. These are still standing, which is surprising and awesome all right i mean how long's that copeland got three hours unwaveringly loyal means we can suck the life right out of them and they won't even care i mean they will they'll care care immensely but we won't care still try grabbing this uh this person over here we'll tend to him with no medicine if we can get him inside hello how you guys doing all right i don't think we need to do this flooring over here anymore all right, you're, you're going to try. You're going to try. Do, 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 do. Two hours. Okay. One hour. Oh, boy. It's going to be spicy. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, tend. Yes. But medicine. No, we don't have time for medicine. Okay. Oh. Bought point two hours. Bought point two hours. Bought point two hours. I'm seeing a trend here. We're buying point two hours at a time. She's doing it fast enough, though. Oh, bought point three. Oh, boy. Uh, the Red Hill Union is here to trade. There are the other ones I called in. One hour, three hours, and you're healed. What an actual freaking genius. Okay. Good stuff. You can now use herbal medicine. That's how you do it. That's how you heal people. Okay, uh, I actually don't know if we need to even fix anything over here. Our turrets actually lasted that whole fight. Which is unbelievable. Inconceivable. Unhabibable. Um, why are you in a bad mood, Bale? You want a neural supercharge? You've been outside too long. Okay, I, I guess those make sense. I need someone... Silver War. Of course, it's in your veins. Uh, can you do some mining, please? Get me more plasteel. I just need one more chunk. So I can finish rebuilding. Never mind. 
that's weird, but all right. Hmm. It's fine. Um, Chillings is asleep, so I tell you what. You study that monolith, and then go trade. Oh, and also uh, take care of the dead people. You know where to take them. Hey, they got turkeys. Nice. Do we need turkeys? I don't know if we need them. What? They stand right on the ritual spot, which just seems weird. Okay, they'll they'll sell pemmican and meat. I mean, we could buy meat. Doesn't hurt. We could always sell this stuff, though. That's the big deal. Sell the blue fur. Sell the rhino leather. That, that's about it. Um, and then buy meat. Never mind. We gotta sell more. Uh, sell the heavy fur. Sell. The, oof, that was a lot. Hmm. What else you got? Wood. War mask. That's it. All right, I might be able to keep some of this leather by selling stuff, especially stuff that's like at 38, 39 percent. OK, mm. that can go. This can go. These can go. Uh, some of the normal stuff can go too. you know, then we can keep some of that fur. Oh, this is at 96 percent. You can wear it. Someone can wear that. I don't need to sell that. Not yet. I guess we'll keep the blue fur. See, they also have cloth and devil strand, but I don't need those. I don't need those at all. Good. You have a ram and a you. You want 20 more? That's good. Yeah, we got meat. Yes, we do. We got meat. And how about you? We don't need to sell it. Okay. We got 42 waste packs. Let's go ahead and uh, make an order to drop these off before I forget. Okay, do that. Deconstruct this. Roof all this. And then we get ready to party. Alright, aren't we... Yeah, we're gonna do um, surgery for you, right? Oh, you got it. You have a nuclear stomach now. Your right arm got destroyed. It'll come back. Now, this is what's important. Okay. Hunger rate down by 25%. So, in theory, this should w last way longer now, right? Can you see hunger rate on here? I don't know if you can. Th this eating speed is slow, but that that's expected. You know, movement speed, crawl speed, and I don't see it. They have a rest rate modifier for some reason, even though they'll never need to use it. Pain shock threshold, sleep fall rate, global work speed. Yeah, it's too bad it's not listed there. But the bottom line is, Sai should need to eat meat far less than he did before. And that's big if true. Like I said, Mazeknov's always in a bad mood. Bale's not always in a bad mood. He's just in a bad mood today. All right, I got to rebuild these dang beds again. Keep coming back to this stinky project. And it's only stinky because I'm like letting it be stinky you know i could just get what i get and not throw a fit but no i'm i'm, I'm like oh, i'm gonna be stinky about it i'm gonna be mad and throw a fit and make you rebuild it 40 times till i get what i want there's more harbinger trees up here i mean we're feeding them quite well they're eating lads relations with those beetles have gone down a little bit more understandable Understandable. Look, I don't want to do a raid against um or anything against Western Hados. But they're making maybe I should just send these two out and send them back anyway. Like you can leave. Release Mason. <laughs> I mean, they're not dead, so release them. Improve the relations what little we can 
All right. Like I said, this person is unwaveringly loyal. So we can go ahead and just do the chronophagy before it becomes a requirement. Eh, let's, let's let you heal up at least. Otherwise, it might kill you. Thanks, Bale. Getting to someone with this Plasteel out. Okay, you know what? Since we can now, let's go ahead and just double up on the Plasteel over here. We'll leave this for now. Okay, so we're going to do double here. And then we'll double up here. And then when these get destroyed, we'll double up there too. Cool. Cool. We have enough plastic to do that. Okay. Go ahead and slap up the floors. Uh, over here. <laughs> so you can't do that. All right. All roofed? Hell yeah, it is. And then finally we set the traps. Let's also cut down the, the trees here. Not because we need the wood, because we certainly don't, but it's just a good idea. All right, we probably have some, uh, we have a lot of extra harbinger trees we could cut down now. So I'm going to cut down some of them. A war merchant? Now I did not call that in. How y'all doing? All right, well, that's good. Probably. All right, good job, lads. How many traps do we have? Ten? Ten shells. It's two shells a trap, right? Yes. Okay. So let's make sure to put one here. And then we want to just make sure we have full coverage for when everything goes off. That's all you got to do. All right. Do we want to trade with this trader? I mean, yeah, I, we want to at least see what they have. All right. So after you harvest that oak tree, Perrin, go trade. All right, there's some more bioferrite. Is that a shard? I'm assuming that shard came from one of these dead people, because I know they did drop a shard. Thank you, Alboyo. Food binge on Vassiv. All right, whatever. Toxalopes. Why would I want one? I don't understand. Mm, yeah, that's kind of what I thought. They don't really have much. We could sell some of these weapons that we... Definitely don't need knives, clubs. Gladiuses are cool, but I don't need them. Uh, machine pistols and machine guns that are nearly deteriorated to nothing. Those could definitely go. Molotovs, tox grenades, those can go. Frag grenades could be useful at some point. In theory. Get rid of some of these chain shotties. We don't need this many of them. But yeah, y'all don't have anything I want. Here, have some awful cloth pants. Right, there you go. Enjoy. All right, make sure we build... Uh, don't build this one before we build this one, please. Reasons. Okay, I'm assuming, yeah, everything got dropped in. Cool. We'll just let that do its thing. Have you tried not being insulted? Vastilla called Vasiv a dolphin. Why would you even take that as a serious insult? That's just dumb. Dolphins are smart. They're also brutal. And, well, weird. I don't know, Vasiv, are you brutal and weird? I mean, you're a gourmand with a great memory, so maybe not. But that doesn't really say you're... You know, that doesn't say definitively whether or not you're brutal and weird. You could be a brutally weird gourmand with a great memory. <laughs> I don't think this stockpile zone is doing anything anymore. Could be wrong. That could have been the most important one in the colony. And also, you know, I could also not have a voice break like that anymore. I don't even know where that came from. It's a very quick one. Very subtle one. Yeah, just eat here. Why not? All right, I hear you doing stuff over here. I heard that. Got more trash to send in eventually. So this thing doesn't have anything to eat anymore. 
So now what? I, I assume chopping it down doesn't really do anything. I mean, we could just move the toxic waste packs from here over to here, let them explode, and then let the tree eat them. Right? Waste packs. Critical priority. Actually, it'd be better if they exploded over here. What's the priority of the free? It's important, actually. So, yeah, it'll go over there. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We have uh, a ribbed obelisk over here. Learn more about it. Transforms flesh creatures into different forms. The device is damaged, so the new forms will be chaotic and unstable. Person or animal so transformed will become something totally unrecognizable. So not just the tentacle? Anyway, uh... It may be possible to safely shut it down, but it'll need significantly more study. You can now intentionally provoke a response. Mutate. To grow a tentacle or flesh mass organ. Ooh. Nifty. Do I even want to get rid of this one then? It's free organs for everyone. Right? Like, which would. Could I have you do it? Probably not. Probably doesn't work on ghouls. I mean, it probably could work on ghouls, but the ghouls don't know how to manipulate it. That's the problem. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, it is what it is territory. There you go. Yeah, just move the trash over here. Bollocks tree will eat it. It's great. Yeah, pollution pump will suck it all up. Two, one, and there you go. I don't know where it put the actual pollution sack. Does it not produce a sack until it has, like, five pollution sucked up or something? Oh boy. A fuller slayer. My favorite. Oh boy, a work friend. Wow, your mood went from break to inspiration that quickly? That's awesome. Alright, the, uh, there's a, there's a mech that's mad. If one mechanoid goes feral, it'll bring other nearby mechanoids with it? When was that a thing? That sucks. If left uncontrolled for more than a day, it could go feral. So we're, we should be fine then. We had toxic meat? We probably bought it. Wait, why is it? Oh, right, solar flare. <laughs> also, you guys should be in recharge mode. Then they just all fall down. I mean, they don't have a choice. This is, this is close. Um, yeah. So much for all that meat we just bought. I mean, it'll be fine for a day or two. But usually... Uh, the nine hives. I don't know. Usually a solar flare only lasts like, you know, six, seven hours. There, there you go. Seven hours. You now we just wait for the temperature to come back down in here and everything will be uh, fine. Not too worried about a little bit of toxilope meat disappearing. There's a warg over here. Hey. Cool down in here already. There we go. Okay, how are we doing on meals? We have 288 meals? We're doing great on meals. Okay. As long as they're not deteriorating, everything's good. You know? It's, it is both too bad and a very good thing. That you can't summon a flesh mass nucleus. <laughs> Did you summon like four of those and put them in containment units? You got Schmeet forever. Do you heal up already? Copeland? Alright. Alright, we can, uh, we can un... Un-forbid this. I want to say uncancel it. I didn't cancel it. Alright. I didn't, like, get a Twitter hate mob to go after it or something like that. It's fun. It's, I just stopped you from working on it. That's all. Hmm. He might try to bust out over here. Let's reinforce this side. There's nowhere else that they were really likely to get out, so I think we're fine on the rest of it. I hear you up here. You doing? Theoretically, doing your best. 
Rainer Breaker's gun. Mozek Nov. Oh, of course. Who cares? Who, I mean, not who cares, but I mean, who's, who's surprised? I care. Maybe not immensely, but I care. Okay, life's good again. I mean, it's filthy in here, but we can deal with that. Life must be good because we're butchering. They have nothing better to do than butcher. Life is pretty great. And yeah, now they'll take the waste packs over here first. And when this is full, then we'll put them in other areas. So that, that works out. As long as we have a Pollux tree, that works out great. Once we no longer have a tree, then it's not going to work out so good. But, you know, we keep calling in exotic goods traders. We can continue to try to get more trees. You have to space them out because video games. But, you know, you can still have a little bit of crossover with them, I think. Or can you not? I don't remember now, but either way, the game makes you space them out. Okay, so once we've cleaned this up off the ground, we're going to need to move this. So, because, yeah, we just need this to be cleaned up. I don't know where I'm going to move it yet. I need this over here cleaned up, too, and I don't know if I can get close enough. A defoliator ship. Oh my good golly gosh. That's a lot of enemies. I mean, we do have... We do have mortars. We have a couple of them. And I guess right now is when I'm happiest to have them. We could also summon friends to help take them out. But, uh... It'll probably defend itself. Be hilarious if it didn't. Anyway, it's mysterious influence will kill all plants in the expanding circle around itself. It's mysterious influence. It's, it, 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 just say it farts out insecticide or something. What do you mean a mysterious influence? You've come up with bullshit excuses for why we have psychic powers and SCPs in this game. You couldn't come up with a bullshit excuse of why that thing farts out insecticide? Herbicide that also kills regular plants? Floricide, whatever you want to call it. It kills plants. We could do that in real life. On a large scale, even. It shouldn't be that, that like, crazy that a machine can do it. Anyway. Complaining aside. We should just wall it off and then mortar the dang thing. That's what we should do. That's just stupid enough to might maybe work. Build a wall from here to here. Uh, let's probably build a little bit differently than that. Um, build a wall from here to here to here. And make the mechs pay for it. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. That is going to be it for this episode of that plays Rim World Anomaly. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving it a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. Because it'll keep coming. And it won't stop till it does. Then it probably will. Thanks again for watching this episode of RimWorld Anomaly. My name is Thet, and I'll see you in the next video. Everybody owes. Yo.